In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God our Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. We now pray the litany to Saint Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Illustrious sign of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the son of God. Pray for us. Watchful defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the holy family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most valiant. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Example to parents. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the church. Pray for us. Guardian of the Redeemer. Pray for us. Servant of Christ. Pray for us. Minister of salvation. Pray for us. Support in difficulties. Pray for us. Patron of exiles. Pray for us. Patron of the afflicted. Pray for us. Patron of the poor. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made him Lord over his house. And the ruler of all his possessions. Lord Jesus Christ, by your ineffable providence, you chose Saint Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beseech you, that we may have him for an intercessor in heaven, as we venerate him as our protector on earth. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now, to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission we thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands 
bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, a holy mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calumson. Pray for us. Blessed Carlo Acutis. Pray for us. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by the passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by Reverend Father Francis de Waram Raj of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin. Let us all rise. You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, of the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. May the brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins of proposals to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And be free. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. To Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God, our Savior, and of Christ Jesus, our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Christ Jesus, our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus, our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? We will not both fall into a pit, nor disciples superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splendor in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your womb? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will 
see clearly to remove the splendor in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are familiar with this name, Charlie Chaplin, the famous uh, comedian. So, usually he used to do like these things. When his movie is uh, released, he used to sit with the crowd and watch how the reaction of the crowd to his uh, different uh, actions. Uh, so if the crowd don't laugh and he's making a comedy, at the same time when he's crying, if the crowd doesn't cry, so he used to replay that portion of the film uh, and he see what is wrong there. So he used to improve things. So he used to improve what is wrong in his act. Then that is why they said one of the reasons why he became very famous. Uh, Actually, we try to hide our faults or errors uh, and try to find uh, in others. Uh, gospel points us to us. You know, this, uh, this passage is also found in the Matthew's Gospel. Today what we read is from the Luke's Gospel. In Matthew also we find, but the audience are different. In Luke's Gospel, we read, Jesus told his disciples a parable. So here he is addressing to the disciples. In Matthew he is addressing to scribes and Pharisees. Actually Jesus is pointing out what is wrong with the Pharisees and scribes. So if you want to hide our mistakes or the errors or our faults, we either try to find it in others. In a one way, it is uh, egoistic nature is there because we trying to find mistakes in others because we also want to make ourselves superior to others. Not that others are in mistake, but we also want to be to the people, so I am superior, so I am faultless than others. That is the one actually unconsciously working in us. Though it may, it may be also there is a fault, but still certain faults we want to avoid. One is to make myself superior to others. Another one is as if I am faultless to make myself. I, make, I don't make these faults. So this is the reason eh, the Pharisees eh, and the scribes, you know, they want to hide eh, though these mistakes. Eh. That is why Jesus is pointing out. Eh, so what they are doing uh, is not uh, good, uh, correct. Uh. So first you uh, remove your beam from your eyes. Uh. Then you can see clearly and you can help others. Uh. So actually when you are pointing out the mistakes, uh, even to the children, if you are not empathizing with the children and if you don't understand them, they may not uh, accept it. Usually pointing out mistakes uh, doesn't help, it's not going to help us. Uh. That is why Jesus was repeatedly saying. So it's, it is an uh, immature uh, character, we can say. If I find, try to find out the mistakes in others, and uh, of course there are reasons we need to correct. That is a different from, so maybe as a responsible person, something you want to convey, you need to convey. As a parent, you want to convey to the children, should you should convey. But that is different from finding mistakes and fault with others and making yourself superior to others. We see uh, today's uh, gospel, as he said, Jesus is speaking to the disciples. Here the meaning is different because he is training these uh, disciples who are along with him. That is why he is saying, here he is speaking about blindness is about ignorance. So he is training them. As a teacher, now he is training them. So when he departs, these are the people who have to lead people. That is why he is saying, don't be in ignorance. So you have to come out of your ignorance. So learn from the teacher. So after the death of the teacher, the disciples are the extension of the teacher. 
So this is not only the teacher who can do everything because he cannot be with her. So he has to train another disciples and leave out his uh, work to the another disciples. That is why Jesus is saying, uh, he is training these uh, disciples. Uh, so that is why he is saying about the ignorance. Uh, so come out of the ignorance and learn. So he is actually educating them. So there is a two difference between the Matthew's uh, gospel and Luke's gospel. So we see this uh, reflection in the today's first reading. Paul is the one who was blessed for He himself calls himself. So he was arrogant. So he, he says all his mistakes, what he did was wrong. And now because of the call, now he is coming out of his ignorance. Because the grace of the Lord has been abundant and along with the faith and love, that is in Jesus Christ. Now the grace has come to him. That is why once he was in fault, now he, he himself exons, examines himself. So we need to, here also we need to differentiate between self-blaming and self-examining. So when I self-examining, I am trying to find what is a fault. I am trying to correct those faults. But when I self-blame doesn't help. When I self-blame, I don't grow. I am only blaming myself. So that we should make a difference. Uh, as uh, St. Paul said, he was once in fault. He recalls all his faults and he is thankful for what grace he has received now. So our uh, approach uh, should be like that. that uh, we need to examine ourselves. At the same time, not be with that force, but rather the grace that we have received, be gratitude for the grace that we have received from the Lord. By his words and works, Jesus taught us the forgiving mercy of God, which seeks to save and not to condemn. May we follow his example as we pray to the Father. Our Father, make us to be like you. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That honest and lowly citizens may not be misled by false and ambitious leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That we may refrain from passing judgments on or condemning other people on account of their weaknesses and shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the dead may obtain mercy before the judgment seat of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. Let us silently pray for personal intentions and intentions offered during this Mass. Lord, open the eyes of all people who have lost their way in life. By your grace, lead us back to you who loves everyone. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble and partake. Pray with the senses that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred history we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down his spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed into willingly this passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in the presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread toward the world, bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, honest of Bishop, and all the clergy. We pray for brothers and sisters, those who ask our prayers, those who need of our prayers too. And we continue to pray for the people, those who are attending this Mass through online. We also continue to pray for the intentions offered during this Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all day in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Let the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, our fathers and friends, in Saint Clay, Saint Angel, Padua, Saint Pio, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co hosts of eternal life. We praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the serious command and form and divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as ye await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, it apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant the peace and unity of ours with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the efficacious Divina to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and ask for the grace of kindly mention your prayer requests. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, If you ask anything of the Father in my name, He will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I ask the Father for the grace of... Kindly mention your prayer requests. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of... Kindly mention your prayer requests.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Let us pray. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, and grant us a grace which we ask of you, through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.